I'm not gonna tell you how cold it was last night and I'm not gonna tell you how badly I slept. <laughs> I miss the desert. <laughs> Oh, I've decided to do something a little bit different again today. So, you remember when I was in California, I did It's a Small World. And then you remember when I was in Washington, I did It's a Small Wet World. Well, today I have decided to do It's a Small Cold World. <laughs> so, a few people have said that they've enjoyed these little video clips of things. So, I'm going to try and do It's a Small Cold World today and I hope you enjoy it. But first of all, the usual morning routine now in Oregon. Something I'm not going to miss about the trail is all the packaging of the food that I've got to buy. At home I try and do as plastic free as possible and use minimal kind of waste, you know, for the environment. I use bamboo toothbrushes, you know, I'm one of those people that's trying to be good for the environment all the time. But out here, it is near on impossible to buy things without plastic. I try my best, I really do, when I get into towns that have got bulk supplies where I can just do things like that. But it is difficult and I've found that I've used so much plastic out here. It's, I don't like it, I hate using too much plastic. So one thing I will definitely do when I get home, I'm gonna see if I can do a good stretch of plastic free, whether it's a month or a couple of months, just to, offset the impact that I feel like I've had because of the amount that I've used out here. So that's something I'm not going to miss is all the pre-packaged stuff. Something I am going to miss about trail, <laughs> well in a way I am going to miss, I, the only makeup item I brought out here is eyeliner, so like a grey eyeliner pencil and maybe every couple of days or every three to four days I might just reapply a little bit just to make myself feel a bit more human. And this morning, and oh sorry, yesterday morning I put some on because I think I've not been sleeping so well so I don't think I'd actually have any eyes <laughs> if I didn't actually put a little bit of eyeliner on. And I know I don't need it out here because it's not that anybody's looking at me and I know you guys don't care that are watching but for me it's a little bit like, have you ever felt poorly and had a cold or a flu and if you just sit around in your pyjamas or whatever and don't do anything you just feel worse and sluggish but if you get up, you have a shower, you put your clothes on, you kind of making yourself feel better by going through that process of getting yourself put together and I think that's a bit what eyeliner does for me out here it just every now and then gives me a bit of a boost and if I'm trying to feel like I need to attack the day a bit more I'll put some eyeliner on and that'll make me feel better Sorry, I got halfway through a babble telling you what I'm actually going to miss about trail and the sun just started going on the camera and made me go all blurry so I'm just doing a little retake so the thing I won't miss about trail is actually not having to worry about putting makeup on, having to choose an outfit every day. Like I was saying before, eyeliner, yes, that's the only thing I put on every now and then. But when I get home, I'm gonna have choices again of what to wear and have to make myself look presentable. I don't think I've done anything with my hair for five days now. I've just left it how it was. My hat's not left my head because <laughs> it's been so cold. So that's something I will miss about trail is the fact that you just don't have to care so much out here. I still try and care in the sense that I keep my hygiene levels good. I always make sure I wash every night and you know use either baby wipes or towel towelette things that I put water on. So I try and keep clean and hygienic. But with regards to what my hair looks like, I've no <laughs> that's gone out the window. So I can't do that at home. People will think I am actually homeless. So let's continue with the day and see what this small cold world brings. Now I don't like spiders but I kind of feel sorry for this little guy. He's actually frozen. Oh, He didn't like the snow either. 